up a 1976 International Cargo Star. It hasn't run in quite a while, so I brought I brought the big guns. So we're gonna dig her out and try and drive it home. See what happens. Here we are at the Cargo Star. We're gonna have to cut this tree down to get it out and move that sweet sled. But uh, anyway, yeah. Let's see what we can do. Gross. Did her. The little cowboy truck got her out. I haven't seen any yet. We did a big, I don't know if you watched the, the news a couple of years ago, we did a big cleanup. <laughs> That's how you raise the calves on these things so you can work on them. animals living in here. There's been no air filter on it for who knows how long. Fan's got a bunch of stuff stuck in the bottom of it. So we'll clean her up, see what we can do. I think it's a 304. Get out the battery. Brought this big dog. The guy says it has no key, so went to Napa and got ignition switch, so we'll change this out. We already jumped the battery and it motor turns over, so we'll get her going. Moment of truth, we'll see if it puts the clutch in. Oh. Does it turn it over? <laughs> the pressure might not be too good. All right. Okay. We're going to splash some gas in it and see if she'll start. All right. Watch your face for fireballs. <laughs> no She's going to run. Hit her. Here we go. Hold on. Maybe. Let's. What's it burning? <laughs> well, I sprayed a shit when it started. Added an inline fuel filter because this tank was nasty. I'm sure it's going to be bad. We got the primer bottle of gasoline to keep her running for a few minutes until the tank picks up, and then we'll see what happens from there. Do that one again.
got oil pressure, temp's good, alternator's charging, a little low on the vacuum. Fuel gauge doesn't work because that's my fuel gauge. to do something about that we picked up a, a little guy here probably where all that poop and smell came from <laughs> he may or may not have some brake fluid on him <laughs> it's a mascot I guess this truck is now called the mouse Whoa, blew a hole in it. I got the wind in my hair because I got no windshield. I'm glad I got my safety glasses. This is pretty much a terrible idea. This truck does not have enough power to go anywhere and the brakes pretty much don't work at all. So, uh, yeah. Taking the back roads, it's going to take forever. We were coming by the house on our back road route, so decided to stop because I had no brakes. Almost clobbered a lady at an intersection and uh, rolled through a couple of stop signs, and yeah, I needed to take care of that because we have some big downhills on the way into the shop, so taking care of some brakes. So our no brakes problem is this T is split in a bunch of places. We don't have another one. So we're going to tape this one up. We've got the mummy hose. Well, this is where we conclude it. Made it to the house. Did not make it all the way to the shop. But between the deteriorating operating and the deteriorating brakes, which didn't work at all before and now kill the engine when you step on the brakes too much. So... I'm going to have to bring in another carburetor to get this one changed out. It's sold 2210. It's a junk emissions carb anyways. So change the carb, try to figure out where the vacuum leaks are, button up a few things, and then uh, I think it'll be able to drive down to the shop. But for this episode of Make It Run Again, I am feeling pretty good. Um, we got it. To the house we drove it all the way from bend to here um i mean the tire blowing out all that stuff like we really shouldn't have even left there but uh you know what that's just what we do so anyway hope you enjoyed it and uh thanks for watching